coming to the stage, I'm very excited to bring up here. Uh, he's actually my business partner who helps me run these shows, and he doesn't do comedy at all. But tonight, he's doing comedy. So laugh out loud for my great friend, Mr. Wayne Wilcox. So I lost a bet, and I had absolutely, I was sitting there walking back and forth and realized I really had nothing good to say. So I just thought that I would start uh, off with, have anybody, any of you guys ever drank out of somebody's spit cup? No. I did. I was hanging out, I was hanging out with one of my uh, really good friends, actually my best friend, and we were playing video games and we were all sitting next to the couch and he has his Pepsi cup right next to my Pepsi cup. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, obviously I'm thirsty. And I picked the... <laughs> I picked this Pepsi cup up. And I got a mouthful of Lucas's spit. So... I know Lucas better than anybody at this point in time. I also... A uh, really, really bad thing that's happened to me is when I was a kid, we lived kind of out in uh, the wilderness a little, and we had a septic system, and I was playing football, and I fell through that, that uh, septic tank. Uh, so, all of a sudden, I know what it feels like to be covered in shit, so that was a pretty scary feeling. Um, and uh, I have one other story, this one's going to be a little bit of a long one, but... So we had a, uh, an opportunity to go for a bachelor party to Las Vegas. I had never been to Las Vegas, but I was super excited about this, so I brought as much money as I possibly could. The first night we drank this huge bottle of uh, Grey Goose. <laughs> and he just knows it. He just knows what's going to happen. So, and my buddy, uh, he ends up um, he ends up getting hammered, and he's very emotional. And so he started crying when he found out that we couldn't hang out anymore. So he was crying. Uh, when we're at the Rio, and as we're walking out, we get escorted out because he's screaming, I freaking hate you N-word at the top of his lungs, because that's how he talks to us, which is... But we thought it was really funny because once we went outside, this limo pulls up, and of course, the black guy hops out, and he's still screaming this at the top of his lungs, and uh, he fell face first, right, in, right on the Rio emblem. And the guy was like, uh, when he... When he saw this, he was just kind of petrified, and I said, come on, hurry up, let's get in, let's go. And he's like, excuse me, is this your guys' friend? And I was like, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, hurry up, get in. And then he said, oh, that'll be an extra $200, and I said, see you later. So when I rolled down the window, he was still screaming that. That was pretty interesting. Second night, we finished the rest of this bottle of Grey Goose, and uh, we all came home early. And we're all hanging out um, back to the hotel. And except for my one friend. My one friend wanted to hang out for a lot longer, so he decided that he was going to take some, uh, some acid and I was on a trailer right off the side of the strip. And uh, the funny, that wasn't the funny part. The funny part is like when he came back to the hotel, I mean, he's out of his mind, came back to the hotel, he grabs this girl and says, You're coming with me. So as they're walking up, they come in, and I'm in the middle room, so you have to come through my, through my entrance to get to your room, and it's dark as shit. And I don't know exactly what's going on, all I can hear is the verbiage, you know, so, you know, all this wonderful thing, kissing and making out and whatnot. And then all of a sudden he grabs her pants and yanks them down and slaps her hands on the counter, and then just starts, forgive me, but eating, his, eating her ass. Jesus. Yeah, I know. This is a, that's exactly what I said. And the only reason why I knew this is because that's all she kept on saying. And so, so you know, the next morning we wake up and we're talking to him because he doesn't know what's going on. We're talking to him and telling him exactly what had happened the night before. And as I try on my pants, I realize that I'm like $1,200 short. Oh, and so she, and then I realized, this is the, this is where the kicker, this is the kicker part of it though. The kicker part of it, it was, he straight grabbed this, it had to be a prostitute, 
as she was walking out of the hotel and went in there and then did his thing and I paid $1,200 for him to go down with her. This is a fantastic night for me. Well anyways, my name is Wayne Wilcox. Oh, and that's Lucas Seeley, the person that I'm telling the story about. So, he's back.